The end is here. The death knell tolls as the comic book world gives up its soul. The art grows still. The panels fade as the books we loved start to degrade. No more adventures. We've had our last thrill as the darkness creeps in and the ink starts to spill. The heroes we worshipped, the tales we read, they are all gone. The comic book world lies dead. What did you guys think of my little uh, poem there? It's a little dark, but I was inspired. I was inspired by this. Ah! Yeah, this is my inspiration. This is a comic book by Whoopi Goldberg. This has to be the final nail in the comic book industry coffin. This has to be the straw that finally breaks the camel's back. This has to be the fourth horse of the four horses of the apocalypse. And it's not surprising that the company that is putting this comic book out is Dark Horse Comics. See, see, see what did there? Dark Horse, Four Horse Apocalypse. It fits. The premise of this so-called comic book is an older lady starts to develop superpowers when she goes through menopause. That's it. That's that's your premise. Lady gets superpowers through menopause. Who is this book made for? It's not made for me. I'm not the target demographic for this comic book. I can't imagine the kids are the target demographic for this comic book. I can't even imagine younger women are the target demographic. They're out there living their lives. They're having fun. They're they're experiencing life. You think they want to pick up a comic book and look at this and think that's what their life's going to be? Uh, no. I can't imagine who this comic book is made for except possibly Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, I mean, as you can see, she's being used as the model for this character, and she's co-writing, or so they say she's co-writing. My bet is she sat down with somebody and said, I got an idea for a comic book. Old lady gets superpowers because of menopause. And then the group goes off and writes the comic book, but she gets a credit for co-writing even though she probably had absolutely no input other than the idea and and the face. And I know Dark Horse Comics is, is having a rough time. All comic book companies are having a rough time now. Uh, but Dark Horse just lost G.I. Joe. They lost Transformers. Uh, Star Wars was taken from them. Do they still have My Little Pony? I don't know. Maybe they still have that to lean back on. Possibly. But it looks like they're going to take this comic book and fill that gaping hole that the other IPs left when they, you know, left. I can't imagine this is going to do well. I can't imagine comic book companies or comic book shops ordering this. They might order one or two just just to just for the cringe factor. Just say, <laughs> look what I got. I got this terrible comic book. But I can't imagine anybody in their right minds wanting to read something like this. It just looks bad. It's it's insulting to comic book fans that it exists. I'm insulted by, 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 by its existence alone. Ugh. But this is where we are. This is where we are in comic books. 
2023. You can have a god-awful idea and present it to a comic book company and they'll take it. It's sad. When you have independent comic books and creators creating stuff that is infinitely better than anything like this. Infinitely better. I mean, you could take five or six of these comic book creators and they could form their own image comics if they wanted to. If Because cause people are hungry for good comic books. And we're not getting any. Again, unless you go to the indie comic market. You go to the Indiegogos and the... Uh, and the other crowdfunding sites to get your comic books. Which is what I have been, to, you know, reduced to do. I mean, not reduced. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to put my money where my mouth is and buy these comics. But I like to have more of a... I, I like going to the comic book store. I like pulling comics off the shelf and... and Plunking money down and walking out of the shop with them. And I can't do that these days. The only, the only, only place I can do that these days is the Back Issues store that is down the street from me. I adore that store. I love it. It is great. They, they always seem to have new comics or, or new-to-me comics. Which is sad because that means there are people out there who have substantial comic book collections and they're just selling them off. It's sad to think. See, I'm a collector. I'm not a speculator. I'm not turning stuff around for cash. When I buy a comic book, it stays with me. And I have it in my will. My daughter gets it. And she's got to keep them. She can't get rid of them. What do you guys think? You digging this new comic? Are you going to run out and buy it when uh, when Dark Horse comes out with The Change, Issue 1? Or uh, you want to uh, pass? Me? Not the, tar- t- not the target demographic. Hard pass. But let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this comic book. Is this the uh, the future or is this is is this it? Is this the is this is this what finally kills off the industry? People looking at this and go, nope, I am done with everything. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Let me know in the comments, guys. It's great to hear from you. You guys are great. You're really helping this channel out a lot, and I appreciate it. And we'll be back with some good, uh, some, uh, some good videos later. And I'll see you in the next one.